Hi guys, welcome back to our Explore First Light series. Again, I'm Tyler, CSR rep here at Explore Scientific. Today we're gonna to talk about red dot finders and what either comes with our First Light series, what can be upgraded to a better red dot finder, and what, again, standard comes with our First Light series. Most, everybody is pretty familiar with this specific red dot. It comes with standard with most telescopes nowadays. The way you turn it on is with a simple switch. It has a three position switch, off, one and two, to adjust the brightness of the said red dot. And there is also a pull tab that comes with all our red dots to keep the battery from being depleted before you get said telescope. All you do is simply pull it out. It is a standard 23 or 2032 CR battery that you can find in any retail store, hobby town, whichever you wanna get. And it's very easy to be replaced to how to adjust and align your red dot finder is one here and two here. This is for the left and the right, and this one's for the up and the down. Moving on to the next one, same basic principle. The little laser comes out of this point. The battery is re cabinet is replaced right here at the top, up, down, left and right. On off switch is right here. Now, meat and potatoes of the group is the tail rad. Tail rads are the, honestly, in my opinion, the best red dot finders out there on the market. You know how tail rads are always the best and recommended for every night observer. The reason being that it shines a light projection through the top here and it's a four inch diameter circle along with a two inch inner circle for precise alignment. And they always come with a, a, a base that is easily detachable for your telescope and it's always double-sided sticky taped so you can put it wherever you want and all you really have to buy are the bases at that point for an accessory so you can swap them out which any other scope that you want with this. Now with this one you do have to align it with three simple screws up here at the front. They're all thumb screws so it's easy to do. Just take a little time and patience and you can get it done. It's best to do it when the moon is up that way you have something nice and bright to focus on. And I'm having an issue getting this thing in. There we go, got it. And that's basically red dot finders and what you can expect with and what you can get with either our first light series or what you can upgrade to. I always recommend an upgrade to because it's a better red dot. You don't have to mess with a small little pinpoint of light. It's a legit circle. <laughs> Again, my name is Tyler, a CSR rep here at Explore Scientific. Clear skies and keep looking up.